KSM Show. Hi, this is Rex Omar, and you are watching KSM. Keep watching. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back, and we're back with the sensational. Come, you just put your hands together one more time. Yes, we got me before sensational. Let me ask him that. I hear when you're going to start a show with Rockstar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the history behind that? What's that? Okay, rock star. People didn't understand why I was saying rock star because I don't know guitar and say I don't know from rock star. And I and I keep on explaining to them, say, my kind of rock star is not a rock star that will live la vida loca My rock star I, I gave rock star to myself first beside I rock when I'm on stage. Okay. I feel I came from the rocks and it's God gave me this position of being a star. So combining both rock, rock star and a rock I'm from the rock, but now I'm a star, a rock okay. star. Yeah. Makes sense, man. Put your hands together one more time for the rock star, man. <laughs> now, be, be, before the commercial break, you, you said something that really uh, pricked my mind. You know, it's a very, very strong point you made about getting to be the champion is great and it's attainable, but what is even more difficult is sustaining yourself sustaining there. Sustaining it. Yes, Crazy. yes. And you, you rightly said it. People come and they are great today, tomorrow they are no oh, more. Yeah. And in your mind, what do you have any things? What, what do you think of? How do you stay relevant? I see you, so you're talking to uh, Sarkodie and the, you know, all oh, those. Chambi uh, Kwame. You know, who have done very well. Yeah. They've kept themselves. They have stayed relevant. What in your mind are you planning to do to keep yourself relevant um, for the next? Besides talking to these legend like a legend like Ochama Kwame because he's been in the game for like 20 years yes. since Masana but to the made in Ghana Ochiame Kwame today because it was Ochiame Kwame it was then the brand changed to Rap Doctor yes then it changed to OK mm -hmm. now he's like the captain of Ghana made in Ghana Ochiame yeah. Kwame so you can tell he keeps one brand uh, really? for for some time yeah. and when people are getting tired he changed the brand and he gives us something new so being around someone like Ochiame Kwame is actually um, um, grabbing a lot of ideas. Mm, mm. Like the way it was just Kwame Eugene for me, then I feel, okay, now there, there are a lot of new guys everywhere. So whoever you feel you are, there is someone coming with another name. Then mm -hmm. I added rock star to who I am. Mm -hmm. So now, oh, okay, rock star, rock star. I feel it will get to a time that maybe people will get tired of rock star. Then you have cover to cover something. Do you get what I mean? So that, that's why I keep talking to people like Ochiame Kwame. And Richie has been in the game for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And Richie started making it as young as I am today. Mm -hmm. And he enjoyed fame and he was like, yo, I'm done. I want, to, I want to take time and work on other people. And he signed people like me, V, myself and Kitty. So I'm, I'm beside Richie Mensa, which I think I'm, I'm, it's going to be a long time me sticking around Lynx Entertainment. So I, I will keep learning a lot from Richie. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I think at the end of the day, the bottom line is learning. When you are ready to learn, you can actually achieve whatever you want to. So I'm, I'm in to learn and I feel I, I, will, I can sustain myself for a long time. Fantastic, now. fantastic. You're, you're so grounded, you know. I mean, you were born on that, three years old, you moved to Fadama. Um, is it your mother's influence uh, that has kept you? You're very. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? My mom. Eh? Your mom. <laughs> What's your mother's name? Uh, your friend, Juliana Enima. She's really stubborn, and no matter how stubborn you think you are, your mother is more. She's stubborn. another level. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? What makes her stubborn? She's too much. Old. And my mom doesn't care to. I mean, if she feels okay, right now I'm on TV and I'm saying something really bad she can just drive in walk in hold me pull me out really <laughs> that's that's the kind of mama because i remember one one time i was i was i skipped school enter the game center i was playing game and she 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 heard that oh obano is on and i'm game centers oh wow okay she she had to close their shop she and closed come. their shop 
and came straight to the game center. Wow. She didn't even ask, where is my son? Because he knows me, that black dude sitting there. <laughs> for like 30 minutes, like, oh my. What <laughs> you Some people are like, my woman prano. I said, shh, me ba. That's the kind of mom I have. And no matter what, you have to complete school. Wow. Because I found myself around people when I used to, I used to follow friends and we would pick scraps and go and sell them for money, then Charlie. Yeah, but... She will ask about me, like she was ask of me, where is him? That like, he just passed the okay midinetti. You will complete school. If I, 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 when I was like 15, she still used to hold my hand to school every day because she, she was scared I would skip school. Wow. Because yeah, I have that friends. Yo, yeah. oh, challenge wow. school, yeah, it is always more. You get what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. my mom will have to walk me to school at the age of 15. She was oh, when you I said, but me down on Do you get what I mean? So she she took me to school and and made sure so I, I i went to like six schools when i was in in primary to jss mm. switching schools just mm -hmm. like that because i'll go to this school and Do you remember the schools you yeah. went to yeah or you I, lost count. I, so <laughs> I, I i went to royal international from royal to um a bb mine from a bb mine to so I, it, it was too much that okay now she had to take me to a mission school so i started from presby from presby to Methodist, from Methodist <laughs> to Anglican, because I mean, you go to you can learn hymns. They will teach you the Bible every Wednesday. Yeah, That's yeah. the kind of school she had to take me to. But still, still, I call her on your correct today. On your correct. <laughs> so she took me to one school, it be mine, and it wasn't working. I remember one time I went to school and it was assembly, but I needed to go and finish some game B at some game center. I have to, some game saved that I have to finish that leg today. So. What I did was, I, sometimes he comes to school and he asks, is his bag in? If my bag is in there, then I'm in school. Mm -hmm. You just call one teacher and ask, oh, his bag is in, maybe Oko Didi. Okay. So what I did was, when I come to school... You put your bag there? No, I throw the bag from outside the school into the school. You don't even go to the then school? Then someone, oh, that's Eugene's bag, they're going to put it inside that. Because if I, if I enter the school, it's a big gated school, they won't mm -hmm. allow me mm -hmm. out of the school again. So you throw your bag in? I'll throw my bag in and I'll go to the game center. That was like 14 then. And one day, I threw the bag, not knowing it was assembly. <laughs> <laughs> so the headmaster was talking to me. The bag came. <laughs> hit the headmaster. Yeah. I was like, who did that? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so I said, you did bag. <laughs> the opener was like, call him for me. <laughs> I was nowhere to be found. Some bad student had to say, OK, by now, we game sent away. I was, I was playing game, man. He came for me. And my mom said, I am going to police station. So they took me straight to the police station. It was my first time at the police station at the age of like which, 14. Which station was this? Dakuma police station. I said, I'm going to police station. <laughs> so she thought that was a solution. So they took me to the police station. They sat me at the counter back. The police you know, scared me. Then, 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 then. What, what did they say they would do? They say, I own some police. I said, I didn't even cry. Like, um, it was too much for my mom. So, as I was saying, the people in our area was like, oh, this boy, yeah. So, they were shocked some, uh, just a year ago when they saw me on TV speaking like this, and people had to come to my mom. What did you do to Kwame? He's so, he's so calm. He's so, he's so chill. He's like a very soft guy. I, I wish my son is coming now. Wow. I said, like, <laughs> So it was a process, and I just give it all to God, and beside God, my mom, for not giving up on me. Because if my mom had given up, given up on me, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So wow. I, I owe it all to my let's, mom. Let's show some love to our mother, man. What are you saying? Anima. Anima. I'm Anima. I'm Anima. Juliana Anima. Eh. Anima, you're too chabon. Show us some love one more time. <laughs> wow. My dad was like, I'm a, yeah. What, hey, yeah, what was your dad in all this? Was he yeah, she, active? She did, like, my, my dad eventually gave up. He was like, Charlie, because my big brother is Christian. He's a doctor now because he was all learning. Like, and my, 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 my big sister is all about mathematics. She's always learning. They're just that clever. And my dad's problem was, I'm so clever. So what is it? Let me say, any memes of fear before. 
Because uh, me and Fim said, me was your being That's what my dad used to say. Because we go on there, kids were going quite there. So my dad just gave up on me. Told my mom. Were you the last that. born? I was the last born okay. till some. Boy, so how many siblings you have? You have an elder brother, and elder a brother, elder sister, and a little brother now. Okay. Yeah. So my my dad was like. I, I think this boy, yeah, it's okay. In, so, in side. he stopped paying my school fees when I was way back in JHS. Oh, he stopped? Yeah, he, he stopped. He up. said, yeah, he's done. Like, he can't pay my fees anymore. So, my mom had to do, like, three jobs now to pay my fees. She was selling fish. She had to sell foals and, and do Indomie, sell egg. That, that time, Indomie wasn't popular like this. Had to sell egg in the evening overnight so that she can pay for my fees and still run the family and, and it, it wasn't easy wow but i grew up and and i sat down one day i was thinking of i was thinking of all these jobs my mom was doing just to get me to through school. school and and when i was in shs Charlie, I, I didn't i didn't finish these stubbornness at um jhs so i continued when i was in <laughs> shs took it higher <clears throat> yeah I took it higher I was, I, uh, this, uh, when I got to SHS, I started chasing this whole music thing. I had to run and perform in other schools, do rap battle, battle everybody, goes from one recording studio to another, and she had too much problem. Because I was schooling in Odan, she took me back to where my grandma was, so that my grandma can keep an eye on me whilst I'm in school. So my grandma used to come to the school, SHS, senior high school, every weekend to check if I'm in the school. I was that stubborn, and I still chased my dream to, they, they, they called me one day, I was like, yo, I'll buy an asshole then. They are expelling him from the school. It's two things, either we expel him from the school or he stays in town as a day student because that's where he wants to stay. Mm -hmm. And my mom was like, what's logic about this whole thing? Because he's in school and he runs to town to record music. And now you are sending him back to, to stay town, in the town so he can come to school. He won't come to school anymore. So my mom picked me from Oda and enrolled me straight into Idol College in Legon. And that was another money. It was too much because Idol College then was millions so she had to do more jobs to, to keep you in to, ID. yeah and i'm glad all her sweat and everything is paying off now and now she can my dad my dad is the one that does this a lot like yo that's my son like yo i overheard him had this conversation with the friends or their life artists of the year as a for new artists of the boy on this size what did i say <laughs> yeah very on the world I go. <laughs> Papa, <we. laughs> so i just I want to say thank you to my mom wherever she finds herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, education wise, how, how far was your schooling? Where, where, um, I, had, I finished JHS, SHS, and I was enrolled in uh, music school. I got letters from many schools, Legon, stuff, but I, was, I wanted to do music so badly that my mom had to enroll me in a music school to really do the sound mm -hmm, engineering and mm -hmm, music mm -hmm, production mm -hmm. proper. And I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked that when I was in school, sometimes my teacher would skip class and go like, "Yo, UG, you for teach the class." Because I knew everything when I was really? in school. I mean, really? the software. I've been around this software mm -hmm. for like years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I was first introduced to the Cubase and Fruity Leaves and Nuendo and stuff, I was like, "Oh, are they <laughs> me, me, <laughs> for yeah. that one, so, like that. <laughs> yeah, I used to, I used to say, "Oh, sir, this part, this thing," and I'll produce it. My first day in school, I produce the whole beat and makes a master. this like, "Yo." Why did you even come to school? But my mom was like, go to school. Like, Which music school was that? MDMM, Department of Multimedia okay. Studies. Okay. And I studied sound engineering, music production, and songwriting proper. And I'm here today, God being so good. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> wow. wow. It's a very, very amazing story. Eh? I yeah. mean, I think it's, you, you were born a musician. That's yeah, how I, I, think see. So. Yeah. I think so. I yeah. think so. I think so. Right now, are there any musicians that you listen to? Any works that... that, that I still listen to Daddy Lumba. Okay. I still listen to Kojinchi and more of a Machi Dede. Why? Because I, I, I want to be a, the next High Life legend. Mm. And though the Afrobeat world is getting wider and wider, and I feel if I was able to write a song like Confusion and Angela that the world is listening to, I can actually push High Life music out there. Mm -hmm. So... I'm 100% for her life music. That's why I even said her life music in my Walai song. So I would emphasize on the fact that, yo, you are listening to her life music wherever you find yourself. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I loved what Daddy Lumba, JNP, Amachi Dede, mm -hmm. and all them were mm -hmm. doing. And I feel mm -hmm. we can just have a, 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 a new touch of our feel, mm -hmm. this whole new mm -hmm. generation mm -hmm. feel, 
attached to Diafil and make it a new version of our live music. If we're supposed to do a collaboration with some of these, the, the, the generation that you're talking about, who is there a particular person you would like to do a collaboration with? Amachi Dede. Amachi Dede. Really? What is stopping you? I mean, what do, I'm sure when you call him, we'll, yeah, I, you, he, he called me for his concert just recently. Okay. And he first called me for his concert in London. And it was amazing. I performed my, well, my first time seeing Amachi Dede. And, and he was like, can you sing some of my songs? And I said, yeah. And I was like, okay, then take a microphone. He called me on stage. He was like, yo, this guy, I've, I've been listening to Kwame Eugene. It's just amazing. I think he's the next big thing in Ghana. Let's enjoy Kwame Eugene. So we sang his song together. I said, I said, we, we sang every song. <laughs> I love what we did today. I think we can do the same in Ghana. So um, this Easter, we did the same in uh, Asante Achimago where we had a place <laughs> full. <laughs> People came to enjoy high life music with the legend of Chame Kwame Amachi. They did that, and it was just fun. And so I, I was like, Nana, where do you impact? Oh, I wish I can have you on one song. It was like, oh, why not? Because I'm not a candidate, but I'm a desert. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, I think by next week, we'll start working on a song with Amachi. Really? And it's exclusive. It's the first time seeing it on. Um, Put your hands together, man. Oh. And, 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 and I love to have the both of you here, two of you here. It would be nice. Yeah, it I had it long nice. ago. And he, you know, but it would be great to have you. And His no, generation and yours. He's an amazing person. He is. He's an amazing He's a legend, man. I said, I hope you're yeah. my I get every payment. I miss him per cut off. He took me to the wife's house. They cooked fufu and we enjoyed. It was, it was fun being around on my yeah. TV. And I was pleased for a legend to go like, yo, you're young, but yeah. come, let's share my spot Fantastic. together. Was, Fantastic. There's, I don't know whether it's an Igbo or Yoruba proverb. I read it in uh, Chinua Chibi. He says, when, when a child washes his hands yeah, you, early... You, when you learn how to wash your you. hands, and you, you eat with adults, yeah. You eat with adults, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what's happening, man. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, shout out, man. <laughs> whoa, whoa. And, and, and of course, um, your contemporaries, you know, your group, mm -hmm. is there anybody that you see that you think, in your own assessment, there's a guy I can do cola with one day, or I want to? My own colleagues? Yeah. In your I feel I, I needed Sarkodie on the joint, and I have Sarkodie now have, on okay. no more. So I think it's left with Shatawale, Stumbo, and Samini. Okay. And Kofi Kenata. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Is there going to be a problem trying to get them to do something? No, no, it's not sure. going to be I a know. problem. Now. It used to be a problem then, but actually. Now, I'm glad you can do it. It's okay. It's <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. 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 But um, um, I think my next album is one album that I'm going to put more great personalities yeah. on, more great artists with creative ideas on. So I would need Shata, I would need Sarkod, yeah. Again, I would need Stoneboy, mm. and I would need Samini. So I have a feeling, I've, I've met them, they're actually good people, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, when I come, mm -hmm. I think they, they will hold me with good arms and that's it. Yeah. In terms of, uh, you know, your music, I know there are some people who have actually said that, oh, you're copying somebody's music or... Mm -hmm. that, I get that yeah, I get that you get all of that. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do you handle that? Um, I think it's, it's the understanding behind this whole thing when people get inspired by... Um, cause um, um, I was I was I was going through this whole bashment of 
yo, he's talented, but he took this person's music, mm. he took this person's music. And I, I, I figured I should let that thing go because people don't actually understand when people pick inspiration. Because <clears throat> it was a whole piece picked from uh, Julio Iglesias' music. That's where our legend Akwabwa picked that whole motivation mm. from. Do you get it? And who hasn't actually picked inspiration from someone before? And besides, there is nothing new under the sun. There, there, were, there were musicians before we had musicians. There was, there was high life, and we have Boga high life because it was a feel of the touch of the white, that funk beat. Because um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's, it's actually funk. But we call it ha Boga Hard Life because it's, let me say, it's not properly yours, ours, and we took a bit of the funk that was being played then by the Michael Jacksons, and then we add a little bit of three to eight, and we had to call it Boga Hard Life. That actually means there is nothing new under the sun. If you say you want to create something new, then you have to go and leave in Sistine something, before, something before where nothing world, was before, actually done. Yeah, then yeah. you can create something that nobody has actually done. So, um, Theft, it, I feel theft is when you take the lyrics, the tonations, and how rhythm everything go from someone's song. But picking inspiration is something that is actually there. Just that maybe outside of the world doesn't actually yeah. understand it to that extent. So mm. I keep it calm this day. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's not something that... It's, 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 no, it's, no, that's, it's, it's no big news. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. And somebody also said some... And I hate, I hate to ask this question because mm -hmm. I don't believe in that kind of crap. But some prophecy about you? And how long you live and something like that? Have you heard anything like that? I, I, I think it's... People get confused themselves when they are in their houses sometimes. Yeah. Like, um, <clears throat> let me say, some pastors. Or maybe they get visions and they just don't know what to do. maybe how to go about it. It's not yeah. about what to do, but how to go about it. Because if you actually feel that... Okay, because one pastor said at the beginning of this very year that this year won't actually be a good year for me. That's what he said. Yeah, and this is the same year that I've had an album with more than, <laughs> with every single song, yeah. a hit song. Yeah. Even no more that I just dropped recently had over 100,000 wow. streams a wow. day. And this is the year we're <clears throat> not supposed to do well. This, this is the, the year that me. he's saying I'm not supposed to do well. This is the year that I've been to America already mm. to have a show most over 10,000 people come mm. to watch me. This is the year that I've been to Canada already. This is the year that I'm going to Ukraine. This is the year that um, Ju uh, July I'm going to um, yeah. um, UK. This is the same year that I'm going to Netherlands next year, yeah. uh, next two weeks. This is the same year that I've had 10 nominations in Ghana Music yeah. Award. And he's still saying that it won't be a good year. So I don't know which yeah. part of God's throne he sits yeah. here. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, yeah. what's the definition for a bad year? Because yeah. Yeah. My, my mom but, heard this and he called me and was like, it's one of them things. Just let it go. Yeah. And be no, I, I just asked, and I'm glad that you gave me this reaction. You know, because I think all of those quote prophecies yeah, I'm not like speaking trash. anything yeah. against him, but yeah. I feel. Well, don't worry. God has just been good. It's a good year for me. It yeah. is a good year, and, and that's where we go. Yeah. Well, so we have just a few more minutes. We've had so much fun with you, man. Yeah. We've had so much fun. It's because you're fun yourself. <laughs> now you're a chum boy, oh. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. This is the year of that shimu. What does it say? Yes, if you chibi. Hey! <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah. But anyway, Kwame, you, 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 it's great. You're not dating now? Are you in any no, kind of no, relationship? I'm not dating. Like I was explaining, I'm, yeah. I'm actually scared to make that move right now. Really? I'm not, I'm not that person who would want to be switching and date this person. And so you want to, once you have one, you want that's, to take... That's what I feel. It's because that's, that's my mom and dad for a very long time. Okay. I feel <clears throat> it's not easy. The only way to make what she's been able to do possible is to just take my time and actually find somebody when I'm ready. Because if I say I'll, I'll be picky about this whole thing, before I get there, maybe I'm a whole rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but we're rough. Oh. Me, me, sure, it's a lot, man. <laughs> It's been so much fun hanging out with you, man. It's been fun being with you. Oh, and um, like I said, you know, the best is yet to come. Yeah. As much as you have accomplished, the best is yet to come. Amen. You know, Amen. and um, uh, as they say in the very, very cliche way, mm -hmm. 
the sky is not your limit. It's yeah, just yeah. a springboard to take you higher, man. Show you some love, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Stick around, folks. Come, you, James. And we will be right back. KSM Show.